Hello, this is another Bedroom Guru with Nikki Allen in the same nighty because the last video I just did, I did about 30 seconds ago. But when I schedule it, it'll be three days ago. <laughs> OK, this has come up a lot, so I'm going to cover it now to save. I have written it out a bit, but I'm going to say this now to cover the pendulum questions because there's quite a few of you that have emailed me about it. Um, including Natalie, who else is it? Oh, I can't remember the names. Anyway, Emma, Matthew, Matthew. Oh, I can't remember the bloody names. I should really write them down. Would that uh, um, give you a shout? Anyway, shout out. So pendulums not working. Um, are they infallible? Do they really work or what's going on there right this is this is what i do with my pendulum because a lot of you have said that sometimes um because i had to edit the last video and um, what i didn't realize is when i edited it movie maker i'm really good and um, when i edited it i had changed my command because the energy shifted now obviously the pendulum is connected to your energy okay so sometimes if your energy's off or you need to realign with your pendulum it won't work so even if you've had it for like five years and yes is swing and no is a circle, it can change. Don't ask me why and how. It's a, it's a living thing and, and so are we. So um, I would suspect that sometimes it just realigns itself. Plus you've got to take into account the energy surrounding you. So yes, it can change and yes, it's not your problem or your fault, okay? Alright, so basically all you need to do is start, is, it's, it's like a phone or a TV or whatever, you have to go back to the reset battery settings, okay? So if you've got um, a, a pendulum that's not staying the same and keeps being erratic and changing um, response to your answers, what I'd do is, is I would, depends on what stone it is, remember, um, is I would either cleanse it in seawater or if it's a stone, normally ice. <clears throat> that can't be placed in water get, just charge them up for a couple of days either under the full moon or the sun okay some of you like burying them in the earth whatever you want to do don't do it at night though because some think you're burying your other half to stay in and um then all you do is is just get it cleansed cleanse it charge it up let it just get what it's where it's going okay a bit like a battery so it's you resetting the factory settings okay then when you're ready when you're in a strong mood, when you're not peed off, or you're not tired, you're like, oh, come on, pendulum, for Christ's sake, I need to work, I need the answers, which we do. All right, just make sure you're in a really good space that you're feeling aligned to yourself, that you're sitting in your own power, which means that you're at silence, there's nothing bugging you, there's nothing interfering with you, the phone's off, you've got some lovely fluffy music on in the background, and you're ready. And so get the pendulum and then start it, okay? Once it starts doing what it's supposed to, then you should be all right. But be aware that it can change whenever it wants to. Really weird what just happened then. I have visualised my pendulum on top of my palm and I could actually feel a tingling sensation. So I think I was just touching Morrick Field. I don't know, that was really weird. Hmm. Anyway, so that's how you reset your pendulum. What I also do, and I did this last week, personally, I wanted to know the outcome of Mia's condition and a couple of other things that were bugging the crap out of me. Do you remember I said about those people that just ripped us off of the engine? I basically, that's a brilliant one. Um, so I thought, well, this is ever going to come to an end. Basically, the situation was they sold us an engine, which was a, a, it was a corroded hunk of rust and crap. You wouldn't know that until you opened it up, right? Um, and I, we basically got it back home and we said to them, hang on a minute, this has like been dropped in the sea and it's rotted in the garage for three years. You said it was superb smooth runner, so we couldn't test it at the time. They basically said, ha ha ha, buyer beware, tough shit, you've got to keep it. And I'm like, really? Oh my God, well, you'd be mortified, wouldn't you? You'd be mortified. This on top of Mia being ill on the hour, every hour, on top of um, my settee not coming, <laughs> so I've got no settee, oh my God. On top of that, then no internet, then dropping my phone in the river, then, do you know, it was just a bad, it was a, it was a bunch of bad shit that happened. Do you know, and it just one thing after another. And, no, and I normally laugh about it, but I'm so tired, I just thought, Jesus Christ, I need to start compartmentalising all of these issues and just find out if the storm's going to pass soon enough, right? Hence why I did the storm pass video. So I got my pendulum and I sat here. I said, right, um, am I going to get the money back then? Yes. Am I going to sort out the alert? So I was asking all these questions about the engine. And then I thought, am I? And then the old sceptical side of me thought, am I pushing it? 
am I doing that and nudging it a bit? Because, I, you know, as I told you, my mind is sceptic. I'm not all fluffy and wonderful. You know, the detective part of me pushed that out of the way. Do you know what I mean? And so I'm like, mm, yeah, it says everything's going to be all right, but that could be me. But I know my hand was solid, as you like, but I thought, no, I don't care. So then I ended up resting it on my knee, holding it so firm and then doing it. And it's and I thought, no. Nah. So I back it up every time. So I backed it up with my Rider Waite Tarot. And it basically came up with conflict. I think it was uh, five of swords. No, the seven of six of swords. No, it wasn't the six of swords. Yeah, it was the five of swords, five of wands. It's all conflict, argument, opposing views, and just a load of nightmare. People not, you know, putting up with um, um, people not accepting your side of the point of view and lots of arguments and all that kind of crap, right? And I'm like, yeah, that's right. And then it went on and then it had a tower moment to do with illness. So I'm like, Jesus Christ, that's me, ah. And then it went on to say, um, lack of communication, eight of wands upside down. And I'm like, oh my God. And it covered, I was only asking about this. It covered everything. I'm like, Jesus Christ. I'm like, yeah, that's it. And then I put the pendulum over the top. And it just kept going to the tower, Mum. I'm like, oh my God, this is incredible. So then I laid the next four cards down. I said, right, it wasn't a, any specific spread. It was just my intuition sort of spread, you know. I went, right, what's, what's, what's going to happen? What's the outcome? And bang, he had the chariot. So we're literally woof, swiftly going to come, swiftly going to get sorted out. And then it had the justice card. Then it had the judgment card. Then it had the sun. So it was basically fantastic outcomes coming really soon and then two days later um after me pushing and pushing and pushing for six weeks um someone with a brain cell in that family said you know what we're going to give you your money back i'm like thank you jesus it took six weeks of, of pain upset stress frustration and anger that you sold something that's a hunk of shit and then you're telling me tough shit no morally legally you know, I was this close to having to take him to court. And, you know, and this is what I was trying to tell my last video. That on top of managing complete exhaustion, you just want to smash people's faces in. Or hunker up and just disappear from the world. One or the two. And so the cards were 100% right. And the pendulum was. So all I would say, it was just to give you a little anecdote and for me to have a good old moan. Let's face it, we all love a good old moan, don't we? um but basically um the pendulum i didn't trust even though it was a hundred percent correct after i cleansed it right and then i backed it up with some cards if you can't read the tarot yet but you will when i finish my course because it's going to be the nuts i'm telling you that now if you can't read then um if you can't read tarot then just get some angel cards well done oh my god what is her name is it Stephen? i can't remember who's just got some angel cards you, you just, uh, do you know, I can't believe that people write to me and say, what should I do? And I say, these cards are really good. And I have bought them. Thank you for trusting me. That means a lot as well. I just get angel cards because the angel cards have got a written description at the bottom, which basically um, is a synopsis of what the whole card means. So you can at least see it straight away rather than them to go through the book and look it up if you don't know what they mean. Do you know what I mean? How many times have you seen me in a sentence? Hmm. So uh, I did that and thought, oh my God, it's going to be okay. Two days, as I say, two days later, I get one of the brain cells saying, right, let's end this now. We're really sorry, give your money back. Thank Christ. Um, so that was one of the things out of the way. And then I started getting all the other things sorted. So now everything's sorted apart from me and the fact that I'm completely exhausted. But that's fine. That's good. I'm just going to chill out now after I've done this and do absolutely nothing. Perhaps jigsaw or watch a box there. Who cares? Just can't do a thing. So that's what I'd say. Reset your pendulum cleanse it recharge it connect it back to your energy and then reset the yes and no's and if you're still not not con convinced about the answers then back it up with a set of cards that's the answer but it's a very long convoluted one because i wanted to add my drama in just to really really bore you so that's your answer to all those people that have emailed me about your pendulum, okay? And well done for the people that have gone and bought new pendulums. Oh my God, I'm so impressed. I should do commission or I should sell pendulums and crystals on my website. Yes, that will help me pay for the vet bills that are incoming. Yeah, that's lovely. That's money to go out soon. Yay! <laughs> okay, so 
I've answered those two questions. One about what do I do when I'm laying here and I can't do anything in my last video. And then what do I do when my pendulum decides to just have a completely opposing view to what it originally represented. So there you have it. I love you all. Thank you for your comments. And please share these videos. Like and subscribe if you come across this. There is a lot more content to me just sitting here whinging. There is more content than me just sitting here whinging. <laughs> There's all sorts of stuff going on. And of course, if you want um, to download guided meditation, there's some guided meditations on my website as well as all the ones I put on here. I'm just trying to think of a plug to help pay for the vet's bills. <laughs> I'm only joking. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. So please take care. Do good things, especially my fibro warriors and my ME warriors. And I'll speak to you again very soon. Most probably, I've really fallen in love with my cards recently. I've been smacking at them like a bitch. I've literally been looking at them every day thinking, when's this going to end? When's this going to happen? When's this going to end? And I thought, hang on a minute. I need to do a bit more of the storm will pass. It'll be okay, everyone. Um, and so, uh, yeah, I love them. So I'm going to do another card reading soon. But right now, actually, I'm not going to watch anything. I'm going to go sleep again. Um, so take care. And I will speak to you all again very soon. Bye.